Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Menace Delphi 2.8. Okay, so the Connections tab is the main part of the booter. It's going to show you all your zombie computers in list view right here. And as well as some information about your bot, like your country, the status, the IP, the operating system, and much more. And down here is the port to attack on. Right here is the IP to hit and here is the frequency you can change it to very slow, slow, medium, or high and right here is the type of attack you can either do send, attack, or UDP flood and right here is selected servers only and if this is checked then only the selected servers will attack and in the multicast tab this is mainly for downloading file and executing it and updating. So, an example right here, you put in your bot. Uh, let's see. And then you could do selected servers, the selected ones that you have, or you could do all the servers. And then this you don't really need to mess with this much just leave this the same and then you if you're downloading the file and executing it go ahead and check this or if you're updating it go ahead and check this and then press ok and then once you click this download file and run it'll run this from this url right here it'll run it and execute it and if you click update it'll update it to the new server or whatever executable you have and the history tab is for USB spread history I'll show you all the information about the USB spread that's going on and then the options tab you can change the color of the items there's a big list of colors you can change it to blue and I'm not really sure what that does oh yeah I think it's yeah, changing the colors of your bots, the information. So, it's pretty nice. And you could auto listen. So, once you save this and close it and reopen it, it'll auto listen on the port you put here. And a password, you don't really need a password, just leave this blank. In terms of service box, I wouldn't check this because it gets pretty annoying background keep that checked password uncheck that and then save your settings and now time for the server builder this is gonna make your bot so go ahead and do new profile and name it whatever you want it's gonna name it as test and then the port it's gonna listen on now a lot of people have started to make their Delphi bots listen on 3174 so you can go ahead and do that or whatever port you want the host is going to be your no IP or your IP address so go ahead and you put in yours and then the password again for the this is for the bot you don't need a password really so you can just leave this blank the server ID will be shown on your bot in the server ID column right here you can make it whatever you want I'm just gonna do Yeah, I don't know, that's pretty random. And now, a startup exe is going to show in the system configuration on the startup log. So you could go ahead and change it to whatever you want, but win log seems pretty legit. People might think it's a, an accurate Windows process, so they, they might not terminate it. And mutex, you don't really want to mess with this. It's just for um, making sure the bot doesn't connect twice or whatever. Just, just don't me really mess with this. And enable USB spread. That will infect a USB. So if it's put into another computer, then it will spread. So go ahead and click build. And the your bot will be in the directory of wherever the menace is, and it'll be called server.exe. And that's pretty much it. 
that's MetaStyleFi 2.8 for you. So on the main connection screen, right click, listen on your port, and we'll start getting your bots. And once you get your bots, you'll have single command, you could Firefox it, get the passwords to Firefox, or you can uninstall. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Metastelfire for you. Goodbye.